From the home of the Pirates, we're at beautiful PNC Park. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here and towing the slab here, Luis Ortiz. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. Two really good back to back sliders. Now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. He's dealing with a great two strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. And the righty deals. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but he hooks foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Right-hander kicks, deals. Goes down looking. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled and this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count off as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Ozzie Albies batting with one down takes a strike. One out base is empty. Pitch in the dirt and now it's even one and one. one, one. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still, a one and two count. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. 3-2 now. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Got him looking. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Righty to the plate. Pop foul out of play off to the right. That one way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. Two out spaces empty. Slider misses outside. Inside just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And he walked him. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. So, man aboard. Matt Olson up to the plate. And that drops in for a strike.
First inning and already up to 23 pitches. That one finds the zone. Oh, a two down. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Two outs, no. and that just misses. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. They get the force. That's the third out. Braves strand one. And now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here at PNC Park. And on the hill in this one, Charlie Morton. Well, he's put together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Andrew McCutcheon. The line to kick the pitch. That's a strike. That's in there. 0 oh and 2. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Just missed. It's a good take. Right through there, got him. And that's the first out. Brian Reynolds here. First pitch misses. Swing and a miss. Good late One sink strike. on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Just off the inside edge. The pitch. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. A wind in the pitch. Strike three, got him with the backdoor breaking ball. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one, punching out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. No, O'Neill Cruz stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Yeah, big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Got yeah. him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Down in order, go the Pirates. We played an inning, no score. Here in Pittsburgh, and now it's Travis Darno with the play. Travis Darno. Ortiz back to work. And there's the strike. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0-1. All tied up here at the top of the second. Ball. Next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And another ball. Fights it off, he'll see another. Comes a 2 2. And that skips into dirt. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Line drive, base hit. And after grinding through that at bat, he gets the best of him. Just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Orlando Arcia. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. At the belt and fires. Ball, Just ball. missed. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. Runner around third. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. One out, runner at second. Now it's Zach Short. And there's the strike. Garcia leads off second with one gone in the inning. And that one clips the corner. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And it's second. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Reynolds makes the grab, two away. Here's Jared Kelman. The well, bottom of the order here, Boog. You got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add on run and the number nine guy at the plate. No. That misses. Ball one. One ball. No Runner at second, two down. And another ball. Love how this guy grinds out at bats. I mean, he's down there at the bottom of the lineup in the nine hole, but he's worked himself into a really good hitter's count, trying to pick up a two-out RBI. Man on second, two down. Rio. 
Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Ronald Acuna Jr. next to bat for the Braves. Left-hand batter waits on the inside corner for a strike. So now two on and two outs. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle fighting the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, he wants to add pressure and stress to the entire team. Acuna in the box now. Take strike one. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. That's the third base hit into the outfield. Headed for the plate. He scores. It's two zip. Well done. Drives in the run. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And he'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Struck out looking at his first at bat. That one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. A gigantic blast. And they add on. It's five zip. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. And he deals. Got it. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. But not before five crossed the plate, with a big blow being this three run homer. And the lead is now 5 0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And here is Connor Joe. This splits between the April and May there. Connor Joe. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. And that's in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Ball two. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Filthy changeup right there. Just Two pulled strike. the string. Righty delivers. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Lifted in the air down the left side. And it falls. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Nick Gonzalez yeah. stands in now and watches strike one. Ball, Just missed. The 1-1. One, one. And that one upstairs. Runner at first with no outs here. In the dirt. 3 1. In there safely. Joe into scoring position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball, but it got away enough to erase any chance of that. Good job of moving up into scoring position. Now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting. So now three and two. Bounce to the right side, and that squirts through. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Now let's see if they can string something together. Make it a little more interesting. No, Jack Sawinski, the next to hit, one takes ball, ball one. No The 1 0. Hi. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. The 1 1. Two. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Runners at the corners, nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a base hit. The runner from third comes across as they get one back. It's 5-1. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. And delivers outside. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And a pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and everyone's safe. The bases are loaded. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's the third baseman. That's Just ball. missed. One ball, no strike. And a pitch. Grounder might be two. Takes it to the bag. That's good. And a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer.
Jiwon Bay, the next pirate to hit. Ground ball up the middle. Arcia gathers and throws to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So two runs, four hits, no errors, and one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Braves five and the Pirates two. New inning getting started, and here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. Matt Olson. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. You know, these Braves do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the starter work really hard out there. And that one almost got him. Like I said, his pitch count is high, so I got to expect they'll be turning to their bullpen sooner than they had hoped. And that drops in for a strike. The pitch. And another ball. Ninety-nine miles per hour to finish him off. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Darno in the box now. No balls and a strike. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Here's a chopper to short. Over to Joe. Out. First two batters retired here in the top now of the third. The center field, Michael Harris. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, Michael Harris. Singled and scored his first time. Ball oh. one there. Next ball, pitch is no. outside. Two balls, no strikes. And the right hander deals. That one ripped. Reynolds ranging back and gone. That'll fire up the dugout. His second home run of the series, and they add to their lead. It's 6 2. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. In a 2-0 count, a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for, to be in the driver's seat here. He got a pitch that he could handle, and he hit that pitch really hard. Nice home run. Orlando Arcia getting ready to hit. And the slider catches the zone. No ball. One strike. There's a strike up high. And the count is 0-2. The shortstop takes the ball. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And That's it's out. in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Now a 6-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back, set for the bottom of the third. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The Pirates in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. 
Hangs off the wall. Around first and hustling for second. Harris fires it in quickly. And they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a cool stroke. So, man aboard. Up next for the Pirates, Brian Reynolds. He's 0 for 1. Inside no, just missed. even up one more runner in scoring position nobody out here in the last half of the third man at second slice the other way that's a base hit around third He'll score easily. It's six to three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Here's O'Neill Cruz. He was a strikeout victim his first time. There's a swing and a drive. That one carrying. Tattooed the Tater Town and gone. A massive home run. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 6 5. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed, they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game. And just like that, they're back in it. You can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. Out towards right center field. Harris racing after it. Can it get there? Should be extra bases. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Nick Gonzalez, the next Pirate to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Very Whoa. high with that one. And it's 1 0. Oh. Runner at second, nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Two and more. another ball. Now it's even up. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And oh, now God. it's filled up. Jack Selinski to bat next. So the tying run at second. Rip to third. Zips it to first. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. And that one fouled off. Pitch. 
gets him to chase after that one. Oh, Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Pitch misses, and the count is one and two. Well, will chase that time. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, okay. a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Close, but called a ball. 1-0. and oh. Joe at second with two down. Flips the corner, and it's one and one. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Swing and a miss, and that is that. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at PNC Park, John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Zach Short. Short. Ortiz back to work. Ball. Slider misses outside. Bullpen One action ball. for the Pirates. No Paul Steens appears to be getting loose. Perez getting cranked up as well. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Grandal pulls it down, and there's one down. The left field. Jared so up next, Jared Kellner. He walked and came around to score his first time up. And that one wrapped foul. Ball and one. takes low for ball one. One one. That Two one, one missed. One down, base is empty. Ball Up three. and in. And now three and one. Two that one in there across the letters. Three balls, two strikes the count. And there's ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Luis Ortiz out of the game. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Paul Steens will take over here. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. So the lineup flips over. Now in for the Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr., one for two. up foul territory behind the plate. Grandal drifts towards it and that's a foul ball. Man at first one away. Ball 
And that's in for a strike. Wow, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Slider got him for strike three. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. He's already homered here in this one. And that's in the dirt. Two outs. He rides. One ball, one strike. And another ball. That one fouled off two and two. Good eye in that spot. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Ozuna up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. First and second, two down. Top half of inning number four. Next pitch is inside. Two balls, no strikes. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Stays alive. In the air, right side. And that's the third out. Two left for Atlanta. They lead it, however, it's 6 5. Welcome back, and they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. Jesse Chavez. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Well, one run game, now the third baseman. He hit into a double play his first time up. And he deals. And fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. Strike two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. On the ground right side. Sends it to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. G1 Bay digs in now. He's 0 for 1. And that one fouled off. Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. 
ball. Misses outside, and that's ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Rysel Iglesias, the closer, is getting loose. Fall off foul. One, two now. Got him swinging. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Arcia whips it to first. And the Pirates go one, two, three. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. Still a tight ball game. It's six five. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Martin Perez. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Here is Matt Olson. The first baseman, Matt Olson. And here it comes. And that one sliced foul. You know, these Braves showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're only swinging at pitches inside the zone. Chasing hasn't been an issue at all. Less than 10% of their swings have been at pitches outside the zone. League average right now, somewhere around 30%. Oh. Off the mark there. And a count one and two. Chase that time. Left hand hitter waits. To the right side. Gonzalez gets it to first. Out. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. No, well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Travis Darno. Well, not only can Perez pitch, but he can also sing. Remember, he performed the national anthem for Team Venezuela leading up to the World Baseball Classic? You watch that video, you'll see how much that moment meant to him. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. In there. And so now one and two. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Now, it's just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Now it's going to be Michael oh, Harris. Tag. Oh, save. Grandal's throw not in time. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. One out, the runner at second, and we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and he breaks his bat. To first, two out. Got to feel pretty good for the pitcher. Absolutely sawed him off. Bat explodes. And then he makes an easy play on it. Pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. First pitch swinging. No ball. One strike. One and that skips in the dirt.
And that's a base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. He was all over that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. First and third, two away. And next for Atlanta, Zach Short. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Right through there for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. And that'll do it. start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Rysel Iglesias. Now this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. Well, one-run game. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. On the corner for a strike. There's a ball. One ball, one strike. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. Cruz really thriving with the bat this season here at home. Ah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. A one-run lead, last half of inning number five. Line drive. And it's just foul. That was close. And now one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That one just misses, and it's two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. That misses, and that's ball three. Connor Joe. Waits on deck. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. So they're down to their final out. Stepping in, Connor Joe. In for a strike, going one. Oh, one. Two down, nobody on. One, one. Check swing, went around, and it's one and two. Iglesias is just one strike away. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The one-two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The one-two. And Good another two. ball.
Line drive. Could be extra bases. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Gonzalez, trying to deliver as the hero. Swung on, belted. Harris going back. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 6 5 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.